What's up, boy? You already know what it is. Your boy FTB Nelly out here doing a day in the life of MJ Melendez. Got a few extra guests. We got Anthony Seymour in here. Let's get it going. Pause up, baby. Ring the bell. Bye. My name is MJ Melendez, 23 years old, catcher with the Kansas City Royals. Right now we're in the middle of the off season. We got training day, just worked out. We're about to do some catching, about to do some hitting, and uh, grind it out.
So what I like to do for my routine, I start off with like a bounce drill. Um, I like to do that to kind of get my glove underneath the ball. Just focus on working from the bottom up. Right now in baseball, the way that the game is going, a lot of guys are trying to keep the ball low, sink the ball, and then rise it up. So I start by working beneath the ball. I like to do that first, and then what I like to do towards the end of my routines uh, is work on that ball up in the zone. Being able to get both those pitches for a strike really help as a catcher because if you can do that for a pitcher that's trying to work both the top and bottom of the zone, they're really going to appreciate that and you're going to be able to get a lot more calls. Are you going to help me get this mat right here? <laughs> it was good, dog. It's good, baby. That drive wasn't too far for you, was it? Nah, it just we didn't. What's good, bro? What's up, bro? Dog, I'm out for now. I'm supposed to be to the derby, but oh, well, I, I, didn't, I, I couldn't make it. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, how was on the live last night, bro? I know. How's it going, man? MJ, good to finally meet you guys. Hi. How's it going? Thank you, man. We going, MJ? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well.
That's not going out, bro. When is blowing in? Staying in here. Well, yeah, they're all What's up, baby? I'm here with Mervell. You already know FIU coach uh, in the building. What you got for the kids, big dog? What do I have for the kids? Work hard. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't make it and you can't do it. Um, and when you see somebody else working as hard as you, you're working, I'll do them. How about that? You know, I'll work them. So always stay positive, always going forward. And always understand it's never you're never that good or you're never that bad of what people, uh, you know, have an image of you, just stay somewhere down the middle and you're gonna be just fine. Yeah, how does it feel to have a um, one MOB guy and then you have one in college with you right now? You, know, you got two different, you're in two different worlds. You know what, we are extremely blessed. I extremely agree. blessed to have um, two young men that not only are good athletes, but they make good decisions. They're good citizens, you know, to us, you know, their sons first, to me and my wife, to me and Aixa. Uh, and they're actually, you know, baseball player second. Yeah. So very happy that they have chosen a path that I, I've been involved for many years, and this is what I do for a living. And they are uh, chosen that path as well. But, you know, above everything, like I said, they're good people. And they are good uh, kids. to me, that's really all that matters. You've always good kids. Um, what's the biggest accomplishment you say you have with your family, with your last name, since you started it? <laughs> it came from you first, right? <laughs> then it ended up with the old and now the young one. Soon you're going to be known as, you know, MJ's dad. Yeah, I'm going to, listen, I, I, I often say now, instead of being a baseball coach, I'm their personal assistant. Yeah. So I, I, my, my title has changed a little bit, personal assistant. My biggest accomplishment is just being a good father. Um, I think that sets, you know, the tone for who I am professionally. Uh, you have to be a good person first and you uh, you have to make good decisions and be good examples for for my kids and everyone that I coach. Uh, so I'm very proud of the decisions that I made in, in my life. And, uh, you know, for that, I'm grateful for and blessed that, you know, have uh, God guide me in that direction and I've been able to be a good example to them. And then I really appreciate you letting us come out here in the field and, you know, film a little bit. With As you. always, we're family. Yeah, we are family, baby. <laughs> Pause up, big dog. Pause up. <laughs> Let's go, baby. MJ. I'm trying though. I'm gonna get a hit the ball harder than MJ soon. It's too hard. I know. It's big, big. Hey, brother, fences in. Oh, that's a hit. Oh, that's a hit. What? Yeah. I'm doing one more time. But yeah, I'm just going one swing. Same. Oh, that's that one more. Bro, it doesn't. Is that ball still not going out? It's not going out today. Not strong. That's facts. Nope. Come on. Oh, no juice. I need to go to the gym. <laughs> gym tomorrow. <laughs> Come on, ball. Wait, wait, wait. 
The wind is blowing in. The wind is blowing in. The wind is blowing in right now. So even if I get it. I mean, dog. Give me that ball. That's the freaking pitch, too. That's the one. You got one more? That's like one turn off the bat. <laughs> they start counting, they go in there and like, why? Damn, this guy get hit. Breaking ball. <laughs> hey, by the way, for you guys, I had, I had, I told Nelly, you can ask him, I texted him last mm -hmm. night, I was going to bring you guys some of my bass, brand new, but I completely forgot my home, so you guys can have some of the ones I use this off season. So. No way. You guys no think? Way. Yeah, you guys. I'll sign them too. I'll get a, we'll get a, yeah, of course, of course. Yes, sir. No way. Thank you. You guys got it. You guys got it. You guys got it. Thank you. Of course. That was cool. We'll get it. We'll get. We'll get a sharpie. We'll sign him. But I had some brand new ones, and I was like, I told him. I called him. I was freaking out on the way here. I was like, bro, that's because I forgot him. And he's like, because I always run late in the morning. I run late in the morning, so I forgot. Thank you, MJ. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Ground balls are actually good. Ground balls. And BP? And yeah, BP. because it, it gets you to be in the back pad. Wow. The pad. You're like the pad. rolling it over, but you're yeah, squaring yeah, I'm you're it up. Yeah. But, but this is not good. It's just boom. Because in the game, you the game is going to take, it's going to get a little bit more. It's like swinging, swinging. What, what am I doing now? Hit ground balls. He got to a streak that there were probably four or five games that he grounded out to second base probably ten times. And he, after like the fourth one, he just first said, I don't know what I'm doing. Running. Those balls, when you when you start getting a little bit under, they're gonna take they're off. Gonna take off. Then he Back had spin. like three games. Then then he had like three or four games that he had multiple home runs. I, I told you, relax. The thing relax. that I like, the thing that I like is like if I'm doing especially in the cages, when I'm doing like short toss or whatever, we're doing overhand. But even like BP normal distance is like the pitches up. If I hit those like flush, like I hit them square, but they're like one hop before they even get to the net or like two hop. That's good because in the game, those guys, it's not the BP, the ball is just staying flat like this. In the game, you know, you're gonna have the guys that they run it up yeah. and the ball's gonna like appear as nice. it's rising. So if you have that same exact swing that you had in BP, that's a that's a line drive double, possibly even a home run, versus if you're in the cage and that same pitch and you hit it, you hit it a line drive to the back net towards the top, mm -hmm. you're really getting under that in the game because with yeah. the velocity and the spin rate that's gonna that play up. Sense. But when it comes down to it, have an approach. Yeah. Have a mindset. What is it that you're trying to do? So the process is what's going to get the end results. Yeah. People look for the results. Oh, I want to hear line drafts. No, 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 no. Take care of the process. The results are going to come because of your process. Yeah. Now, what happens? When I don't get the results and I'm going through the process and I don't get the results, I try to finagle it now. No, let me fix it. No, no, no. They're going to come. Relax. Build that muscle memory. Mm -hmm. Okay? Continue with the process because you're not always going to get you're not gonna get the results that you no, want no. all the time. But if you're if you're consistent and if you're loyal to the process, the results are gonna come eventually. And it, they'll come. They'll that come. You can't you can't waver. You can't waver from, from the process. The process yeah. is gonna get you there. All right, so now we got the sneaker collection. We'll start off on this side. I keep the the lighter colors on this side on the black boxes. So we got the cream whites, um, zebras, glows, zebras, or whatever. We got a ton, but these on this side will go my favorite from each little row. Definitely gonna have to say the glows. I'm definitely into like the flashy stuff. Um, I like to stand out a lot. And so these go with a lot of dark outfits, kind of set the tone for the whole outfit. So this is gonna be my favorite for this side of, of these Yeezys. All blacks, red stripe, cream stripe, all the way down we got the Beluga 2.0s, breads at the bottom. I think on this side my favorite is probably gonna have to be this, the red stripe. Um, definitely one of the more limited ones, rare ones, and 
I feel like they've been re-releasing a lot of the Yeezys. So this is one that they haven't re-released, at least not yet. Hopefully I don't jinx it, but I really love it. It's super sick shoe. We'll go ahead and light those up real quick. So we got the J Balvin's on the bottom, some Jordans. Uh, I keep them in here just kind of because they match like the little whole color scheme here. But these are some friends and family Yeezys that uh, I got hooked up with and um, can't really say from who. A guy gave them to me on Instagram. Um, he has a connect through Yeezy and all that stuff. So these are super sick, super rare, limited shoe. Um, I haven't found the occasion to wear them just yet, but I will for sure one day. We'll find a great event to wear that too. But for right now, they're on ice. We got an Got a lot of shoes over here, all boxed up that I need to just either sell or you get, get rid you, of or trade or something. They're crazy, right? And, and you know what's crazy? They're all on Wish App. That's where you get them. That's, that's, Wish that's, app. that's cap. <laughs> Big cap right there. Big cap. Off White Dunks, Travis, Jordan Sixes. We got a Bape Ultra Boost that I wear the heck out of those. The Spider Man Jordan Ones. This shoe that they only made like 3,000 of, but a lot of people don't really know what it is. It's a really sick, it's kind of inspired by the Mona Lisa. You can kind of see it on the inside. A lot of people don't know about this, but super sick shoe, I love it. And then we got a couple of Pharrell's, back to back Pharrell's and then some more NMDs. But on this side, my favorite is probably, it's tough. I love the off white and stuff, but I'd probably have to go with these bait Ultra Boost. Just because I wear them so freaking much. I mean, super comfortable. The material in here is a little bit different. It's like a sock. And I just love Bape. I have a lot of Bape shirts, though. The Sean Clivers that he actually, these are not my size. They didn't have a lot of sizes left, but he actually sent me this um, through Instagram. We messaged, and he hooked a brother up with these and his little special box I got in the closet, actually. I'll show it's you guys crazy. a little bit. It looks like my size. Crazy. It, yeah, probably not, unless you wear a size 9 or 9.5, which I think is what these are. Yeah. But these are so size. sick. I need these in my size. I need to trade up to get that in my size. And then the off-white volts. Probably my favorite in this whole size. I just wear these a lot. And it's a super sick shoe. I feel like you can dress it up, dress it down. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like the, little, the baby blue. I like the baby blue, how it kind of contrasts with the neon. So. And we'll go over to some more Yeezys with the 750s shoe that I love to wear with some jeans, nice pants, really dress these up, look good, clean. Doesn't got a whole lot of branding on it, which for me is kind of weird that I like it because I usually like the flashy stuff, but I really love these. Those in triple blacks, and I have them also in the brown, the chocolate colorway. Clean gum bottom, love it. One of my favorite silhouettes for sure. And then we got a little sneaker book right here. And then we got a whole bunch of different, we got NMDs, Pharrell's, um, some Ultra Boost, some Yeezy 380s, more Ultra Boost, Jalen Ramsey shoe, and then a lot of the just comfortable shoes right here on this side. But I think for sure my favorite on this side is gonna be the Triple Black 750s. Probably my, one of my favorite shoes overall, just cause you can really dress it up. Then we can go over here, go back, we'll move all these shoe boxes. We can come in here. There's not really a lot of hype in here, but it's just more like about the comfort. So there's some Ultra Boost in here. There's some old school Adidas that all white look pretty good. Wear with a nice outfit. Easy slides, some Turfs, just more 40s Ultra Boost, all this type of stuff, basketball shoes and whatnot. Straight up with the shoes we got. Now look at look at now look at, trying to find his size. I to, did, I did, I found two. He found two. <laughs> I found two my size. You know what I mean? To, yeah, my to size too. With, One of those is mine. Look at, uh, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. that don't go, hey, that don't go with the Philly Scout team. Uh, does so. it? Does it? Yeah, that's Canes right there. Yeah, what you, uh, hey, yeah, yeah bro. I'll never rock really the Canes. Really? Come on, you. I'll you never rock the Canes. Never pick up those shoes again, then. That's nah, crazy. nah. But I wear them in the streets. I wear them in the streets. Tucci, best bats in the business, Tucci Lumber. Been using them since I was like 15 years old. Literally the best. I mean, you can see the crazy colorways they do. Crazy colorways. They hook it up. 
I mean, this one for the home run derby in the Bahamas. Wild. The details. I mean, look, there's like a little, it's like a little moon. Fades into the nighttime with the moon. That's, I mean, it does not get better than that. And then, hey, FTB Scout Team Astros. Astros. The other one is, is over it, there, too. Bro, the other one, but this one is like all used up. Yeah. Know, take it up. Take it. Take it. Look, look at this. Boom, MJ Melendez, FTV, baby. I actually kind of helped design <laughs> this one. Pete texted me, he's like, yo, this is a, that was my second year. He goes, yo, yeah. well, you want to design it back? Because I was like, hey, like, what are we going to do for the colors for the back? He's like, yo, you want to help me design it? I was like, let's do it. So I was like, let's do the tiger stripes the whole way down, half navy, half orange. Half orange. And we did it, and it, it looks sick. It looks sick, though. Super sick. There's Especially another one, too, there. FTV. Shout out to Pete, man. Shout out to Tucci. For real. Yeah. For real, shout out to Tucci, man. This kid right here is one of my favorite catches of all times. I preach it all the day, all day. You're the man, you're the man. Hey, best coach, if y'all ain't trying, if your goal, if you're high school and your goal is not to play for the Philly Scout team, I don't know what you're trying to do. Best organization, best team, bro, FTB, all the way to the top. I mean, if you ain't trying to play for FTB, then I don't know what you're doing, dog. I don't know. I can't, I can't help you after that. All you can do is recommend. <laughs> man, you got to love it out here. I'm excited. Love the day in the life of MJ Melendez. You know, obviously he's an FTB alumni. He's he had a crazy season. He's gonna blow up. Probably the next big face in MLB. Excited that he let us be a part of this journey. Um, just hit that subscribe button. Um, join the family as well. Be a part of us. Ring the bell with us. And you know, again, make sure you follow this guy's journey right here. He's the truth. Sure, man. I appreciate he's it. The no, you truth, guys, man. you guys, stay Remember. locked in. Stay locked in to FTB. Always keep following them. I appreciate it if you guys follow me as well throughout my journey into you know big leagues. Throughout professional baseball, it's been a pretty wild ride, but I love it. I love the game. It's what it's all about. I wouldn't be in the position I am if it wasn't for Nelly, FTB, his dad, George. So without them, I wouldn't be where I'm at. So big shout out to them, and uh, man, keep following. Let's go, baby. Ring the bell. Get out of here. Bow.